Hola bebés, ¿cómo están? How are you? Bienvenidos a nuestro canal. Welcome babies to our channel. I'm not going to show you my nails because your girl is a hot mess and I try to be perfect. It's not in my journey. I have a blank wall. I like you guys know I'm trying to rotate and figure out lighting and the whole jazz, but I'm kind of liking I I really like minimal stuff, but I'm still figuring it out. I don't know. I'm happy here. We're happy here though today. So, I am excited to bring you this video because you know, I love to talk about perfumes clearly. And these are troublesome perfumes. Now, I did a video in the past about perfumes I just didn't like. But these are not these are in my collection. And these are not that I don't like them. Some of them I blind bought, but it's not some I don't like, some I really like, but they are just troublesome for some reason, whether they're too strong or whether they just don't feel like me or there's something about them that I find troublesome. And you know what? I don't do that, girl. Put it away. This just goes to show I probably need to declutter and I probably need to do that because I could have picked a lot more and I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 and I could have picked a few more. So I probably need to declutter. I probably need to do that sometime soon. I've never done one. They're my babies. But I gotta get over it. And you know what? I like to keep them too. Girl, just fast forward. You know, if you're not, just fast forward to when you see me holding a bottle because your girl likes to chat. But. I like to hold on to perfumes because I like to work with them. I like to see for a really long time if they, if I will end up changing my mind, if I can pick up new notes from them. And one of them happened. I'm, I'm so like, can I just... <laughs> one of them that I don't have, I'll probably start with that one that I have picked up so many different notes throughout my journey of sampling this perfume, which I think I'll probably end up getting it actually. But, so let me just tell you what they are. This video is about perfumes that are just troublesome in my collection. If you wanna know what they are, what do they say? Stick around, let the video play. Okay, okay. So the first one that I'm gonna tell you guys about is what I was telling you that I've picked up, I've sampled this, so I don't have it, but I think I am gonna get it. The first one is Amouage Sunshine for Women EDP. When I first smelled this, I was so in love, and like I smelled it right now, and I'm so in love as well. It was one of the most, it was one of the most interesting sense I've ever smelled and you know this was but this was at the beginning of my niche discovery niche perfume discovery but even I smell it today and it's still one of the most like exotically delicious interesting scents that I've smelled and I went through a phase of loving it and then I got bored of it and then I picked it up again and I loved it because when I picked it up, I think the second or third time, see I had this like, ooh, like, that, that, like huge decant of it. And I've had others, but when I picked it up one of those times, I really got this white tobacco note with the peachy note. Osmanthus is peach, right? Apricot, one of those, the same thing. Um, Yeah, I, I, I think it's just stunning. I think I'm gonna buy it. I think it's gonna be one of my best purchases. I'm really loving it right now and it has been a journey for me. It has been a troublesome perfume because I don't know why I would think that I would be bored of it because it's so, there's so many things in here to make it interesting, but I really thought, I was like, no, this isn't one I'm gonna have. This isn't one for me, but now, <laughs> Now I really do, and I think I'm solidified. I think I'm gonna get it. It's just really, I really get this, this like thick white tobacco, osmanthus, like kind of 
creamy, smoky. A little edible, but very wearable, I think, for summer. I, yeah, I gotta get it. I gotta get it, I gotta get it right now. Why do I do this to myself? Why do you, you guys do this to me? And I'm really sorry about this one because I just got it and I love it, okay? I love it. I think it's stunning. It's really a stunning scent. And two of my favorite girls here in Fragcom sold me this, Ebony Wood. And <laughs> I think it's stunning. And I actually, I think it's one of the best buys that you can purchase. It was like $30 at Zara, Ebony Wood. And it smells like a niche scent. It smells in incredibly crafted, spicy, but I think, girl, stop it. I think for me, I, I don't know, I think it smells a little masculine and y'all know I love masculine scents on myself, but for some reason, every time I wear this, even though it lasts and I can really, I've worn it to work a few times, I can really I can really smell it on myself throughout the day and I love the scent. It's just not attaching to my personality, I guess. But it's stunning. If you guys, if you like spicy scents, woody scents, I think, um, I think one of my girls said it smelled like a hot toddy and that's what really pushed me to go get it. I blind bought this one. Uh, they didn't have a tester at Zara, but she said it smelled like a hot toddy. I've never had a hot toddy, but she explained it and I was like, okay, that's mine. But I don't think I'll declutter this one because I think it's so stunning. It's so beautiful. I just haven't been able to wear her. I want to say him. I haven't been able to wear him comfortably yet. But man, it's beautiful. It is. It's, it reminds me of like, a spicy cold winter with like some sweet spicy drink. That's what it reminds me of. It's really beautiful. But I don't know. We're working we're with we're working with him. Now this one I've had in my collection for a long time. And I love it. Or I loved it. I love it. But this one I just can't wear. I really like it and I really oh, see I really like it I can't wear her though this is Serge Luton Feminite Dubois how you like that Feminite Dubois du okay rewind to me this smells like spring but there is a there is something in here that makes it very unique very very unique i should look that up for you shouldn't i see i've barely used it okay virginia cedar plum plum cinnamon peach clove ginger ylang ylang violet rose african orange flower base notes sandalwood benzoin musk and vanilla i don't know what it is then because that all sounds good <laughs> Maybe it just doesn't work on my skin. Or, but it's, I know because when I wear it, it still feels like it smells nice. And I still like it. I just, first, I just can't, I don't know. There is something strange about Feminite Dubois. And I don't know what it is. Oh, y'all are gonna love this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I blind bought this one. I did not buy blind by Feminine Dubois. I smelled her at Lucky Scent before I bought her. But this one I blind bought. And this is stunning. This is also stunning. It's not that I don't like her. This is, it's like, it's exactly as people describe her. Uh, this is Blue Turquoise. Blue, Blue Turquoise by Armani Privé. It smells like a very luxurious spa by the ocean. It's exactly how people describe 
on, in, on YouTube. Blue Turquoise. Very incense, salty vanilla. It's like nothing I've ever smelled. It's so unique. And maybe I have to wait, wait till the summer to wear her because I, I wore her a few times, but she's really strong. She, she has, she's really strong and she lasts a long time. And you know what? I had an argument with someone the day, one of the days that I was wearing her. So that could be, do you think that's why <laughs> she's troublesome? No, I mean, this is, this is a very unique scent. Um, and she's very potent and like, for something being salty and incensey, the vanilla is very prominent there as well. So it's very interesting. I'm gonna keep playing with her and see if she ends up doing it for me in the summer. But this is a very troublesome perfume. That's a blind buy, but that I absolutely think is stunning. It's just I'm having a lot of trouble with it. Like you can really smell the art that went into making this and I and I mm, don't quote me but I believe the perfumer is the Mattia Premier 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 I think it's he's the creator of this one as well which is crazy because yeah they're stunning stunning but yeah I don't, it's, it's, this is a tough one this is a tough one this one should come as no surprise. This is like one of the most troublesome for, I think, a lot of people. This is Black Orchid by Tom Ford. I think I need to smell this on a guy. I don't think I've ever smelled it on a guy. With me, when I wear it, I love it. Again, it's so, like all of these are like so interesting and, and but they are, they make it troublesome sometimes. And I don't know, I don't know. This is a must smell for sure for everybody. Everybody needs to smell this. This is. This should probably be number one as the most troublesome perfume ever. But it's. Carajo. But it is sexy. I will tell you that. It is sexy. So sexy. But I don't think I've worn her him out once. But I love it. I'm this. I see. This is why I can't declutter. I'm like I can't declutter any of these. The only one I think I would declutter is Feminine Dubois so far that I've talked about. I would never declutter Black Orchid. No, no way. Ugh. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna do this one. I'm in the middle. Is this the middle of the video? I don't know. This is a good thing. This is a this is a good outcome. Okay. I blind bought, because I loved La Danza so much, if you watched my previous videos, I love La Danza Nobile, 1942. Yeah. So my Frycom bestie, soul sister, Simply Lauren Sense on Instagram, so talented, love you. Uh, she was talking about per, uh, about Perdizion and that girl can sell me, oh my god. She just has to like say a name and I'm like, cart. But she was talking about Perdizion and I was like, okay, I'm just, I love La, La Danza, so I was like, I'm just gonna blind buy it, blind buy it. And I did, clearly. <laughs> and at first I didn't like her. Well, I was like, okay, this love don't be shy DNA is really tricky for me. Or I think orange blossom is really tricky for me in general. But I was like, ah, it smells just kind of like that. Love, don't be shy DNA. I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, whatever. But I'm going to give her a try. And like, I was trying to, I'm trying to really get to know my perfumes. So I started wearing her for just a few days for work, like really over spraying. And I got, um, I got really into her, Perdizion. I really, I mean, look, I've, I wore her for two weeks and look at that dent. Um, and I only stopped using her because I was like, I don't want to go through it yet. So, but yeah, it's a very, I feel like this for me, 
is the most wearable of the Love Don't Be Shy DNA. My favorite that I actually do love is Sintra. I don't have it though because I, I do think it's hard to wear. But I'm, I don't know. I have to test it more, but I, this is very light. Very light, airy, um, more fresh version of Love Don't Be Shy, I feel. But yeah, so this is a good one. This one was one that was troublesome in the beginning and now it's a love. Now I love her. She's great. And speaking of love don't be shy DNA, I love love don't be shy, the original. I just can't wear it. I can't wear it. I don't know, I can't wear it. So I never had it, but then I kept hearing all these things about Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, how it was better and it was more wearable, and I'm like, okay, let me blind buy it. ID10T. This is one I just don't know. <laughs> like, when I first smell her, I feel like she smells like a bed and breakfast bathroom like with those balls and like decorative soaps that they have that kind of smell like rose and like weirdness <laughs> when I first smell it that's what I get like a bed and breakfast motel bathroom but when I wore her when I was testing her out I was spraying my pajamas and the next day, my pajamas smelled delicious. So it was like the deep dry down that I liked. But, and I tried to, so I, with my, my bestie, Christine, she loved this one, or she said it was very powerful. And I was like, I wanna feel that too. So I was trying to wear her and I sprayed her um, like a day or so after we filmed that video. And I still couldn't do it, I don't know. Yeah, I don't... Hey, it's leaking! Oh, that's not good. That is not good! Oh well, now I gotta figure out what to do with this one because I'm not gonna have a leaky bottle. Okay, let's do some quickies because I don't have much to say about these besides that I can't wear them. And this one I would probably de declutter. I love this one and it reminds me of one of my bestest friends. This is La Nuit Tresor Nude. I cannot wear this one for the life of me. I love the scent. It's so creamy coconut version of the original La Nuit Tresor, which I also probably should be in here because I can't really wear that one either. But this one is higher up on the, on the not wearing. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's very strong too. It's, it's kind of like buttery coconut La Nuit Tresor fruity but I can't I can't maybe it maybe it's that it smells a little synthetic to me I don't know still smells good but synthetic I don't know that's another troublesome girl you are trouble girl trouble you guys I love alien when I spray alien I love the scent it's such a gorgeous intoxicating perfume I let me spray her. It's so stunning. I love it's so sexy and dark and easy to wear in general, I feel, but I can't wear alien. I don't know why. I don't know why I cannot wear alien. She just does not feel like me. And I think I feel the same way about. Rouge Malachite, which I love. I have her. I love, love her. And I feel like I smell incredible. Like when I wear Alien, I feel, let me do it again. I feel like I smell so mysteriously sexy and like fresh and fun at the same time, but I can't. I don't know why I can't. And see, I won't, I wouldn't declutter Alien though. 
Alien by Terry Mugler. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why your ears match your lipstick. Mm. What? Yeah, I don't know. Alien by Moogler. A big time troublesome sexy girl. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty and this is probably, is it my favorite? No, it's my second favorite. of this lineup. I would not declutter this. I can't. I, this is Lancome's Oud Bouquet. This is such a beautiful perfume. It's so beautiful and it's so strong that I think that's why I've literally never worn her. Never, I've had her for a long time and I have never <laughs> worn her. I just pick up the cat and appreciate her beauty. I I need to I need to like go somewhere and like figure out where like I, I need to go somewhere just to wear. I need to like make these plans, these extravagant uh probably need to buy a new outfit and maybe some Louboutin heels or something just to wear her because I can't I cannot wear her for some reason I I I know she's strong but she's just such a feeling it's such a feeling to wear oud bouquet for myself that I don't know I don't I I don't know but she is a tra traumatizing, troublesome, sophisticated, deliciously interesting girl. I love Ubuke, but I have never worn her. I... It's gonna be shocking, but not shocking because this is one of my lifer perfumes. Is Ubuke a lifer? I'm not sure. But this is hands down a lifer for me. And this is one of two of the sexiest perfumes I have in my collection. You guys know, probably won't be surprised, but I'll tell you why I think this is troublesome for me. Musk, <laughs> Musk Ravageur by, uh, by Frederick Mal, Maurice Roussel is a lifer for me. This is a, I'm trying to hide my nails, girl. Musk Ravageur I will always have, a, I want the big bottle, but it wouldn't make sense for me to have the big bottle because, so it, this does something to my heart and my tingles in my body. <sighs> this evokes so much emotion that it makes it troublesome to wear. Like one time I was like, I just want to wear, I want to wear Muscrave Jour. I just want to be in the mood. <laughs> but I feel like this is one you have to already be in the mood and it will enhance the mood. Like you can't, some, some sense you, you wear to like get in the mood and work yourself up there. I feel like with Muscrave Jour, you have to be in that whole vibe already because one time it was like kind of hot and I was in my pajamas and I don't think I had washed my hair. It was just a mess. I had homework to do. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna, I just, I miss my scrubbage I'm just gonna spray. And it was a mistake. It was a very deep mistake. I would, this sexy aura of, of romance and just deep passion was coming out at me and I felt so confused because of what was happening in my physicality that I was like in my pajamas and a sweaty mess. I felt like a sweaty mess and it was just not a good option. So ever since then, I was like, no, this, this is, I have to really pick and choose my moments with this baby, my baby right here and it's a troublesome one to wear just because it's so, there's so much passion in this bottle.
that I have trouble wearing her. Him. But it's my baby. I love, I love you. I love you. I love you forever. Okay. I have two left and they're kind of in the same category, but not really because they kind of have the same vibe to them in my opinion. And that's probably why I find them troublesome to wear, but one I love and one I don't not like, I just feel nothing for. So the one I love is Ivory Root by Zerzhov. Why I can't wear her, God knows, God only knows. Cause I love the scent. It is such a beautiful, sophisticated, spicy vanilla that lasts and lasts and makes you feel some type of way. It's just so luxurious and stunning that I have trouble wearing. I have trouble wearing her. I, I do, I'm not gonna lie. I, I have so much trouble wearing. And she also doesn't feel like me for some reason. Like I, I wear her to bed because I wanna feel sexy and I wanna feel rich and she doesn't feel like me and i want to feel those things <laughs> but ivory root is absolutely stunning stunning beautiful scent for me and i just yeah also would not declutter them i would not declutter no, no, no. yeah i don't know okay so that leads me to the last one on this list and I don't think I'm ever gonna like this scent. I've been trying for so long. It's not that I don't like it, it's not that it smells bad. It's just, to me, I don't know why I can't get down with Nishane Ani. I know this is such a beloved perfume for so many of you. But I cannot, we cannot be friends, girl. I don't know. We are like, not even acquaintances. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it, it's like completely something you would think would be right up my alley. She's green. She's kind of spicy, vanilla. She lasts a long time. <sighs> I, I don't know I keep trying to see if like I'm gonna get different notes and she does smell spicier than when I first was starting uh, to wear her when I first got her she smelled like straight up vanilla straight up vanilla and I don't like those that's just just smell like vanilla I don't like those but as I kept wearing her she did develop a lot and now I really smell the green and the spiciness of Ani and I know so many people love her, but we are not friends. We're not friends. And I don't know, I think she's probably gonna have to go because it's just been too long. I mean, I've been trying to make something work. I've been trying to be a cool girl with her, but I'm just not, clearly, I'm not. <laughs> we are not popular girls together. Oh, my last troublesome perfume is Nishane's Ani. I'm so sorry. Bueno corazones, I really want you to tell me if you have these kind of perfumes. I'm sure you do, because if you're like me, you're watching this video. I'm sure you, have, you just like buy perfumes and wish for the best sometimes. But you know, I really love to explore perfumes. I love to explore scents and get to know them and and even if it's like not an absolute love, I really like to work with them. And one thing that a lot of you tell me is like life is too short to wear perfumes that you don't love, which is absolutely true. It's absolutely true. I love that. But I do like to take a journey with my scents and the scents that I choose to buy. 
there's always a reason why I really think hard about the perfumes I'm gonna buy whether it's a blind buy or not so these are just some that I have trouble with whether I love them whether I don't whether it's just one reason or another they are just trouble for me los amo <laughs> I'm gonna go like this los amo <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get my nails done soon I promise let me know in the comments, please. Let me know what lineup of these troublesome girls that you have. Troublesome guys. Ciao, amores. Mwah.